Jobs and Special Events, who sponsored that to third versus fourth race, and uh, to Mr Whippy, who's sponsoring this final for the Street Stock State of Origin, brought to us by Kiwi Auto Spares. Don't forget our next meeting here at Coca Tools with Glen is next Friday and Saturday, the Battle of the Stocks. How many? 32? 30, 30, Something like that. 32 ish super stocks, half from the North Island, half from the South Island. They'll be paired up uh, and they'll do battle over two nights next Friday and Saturday nights, usual format. And uh, there's going to be bound to be plenty of action. And some years previously, we've seen more action on the Friday night than on the Saturday night. So if, you, if you're after super stock action, you might actually want to get here for Friday and not um, pass on that just because it's the end of the week and you, you feel like going out with your mates. Well, it's gonna, certainly going to be an interesting Bring one. mates here. A lot of those guys, the likes of Wayne Hemi and the Levines and whatnot, uh, the Joblins, back again. They love mm. this event. They love to be able to open up their super stocks and race them as hard and as fast as we can. And to be fair, this season it'll be the biggest super stock event that we will see here at uh, Coca Tools yeah, Woodford Glen uh, as they uh, come out and contest the best, effectively a best Pierce Championship. But there is a, obviously singles points. And uh, of course, stock cars, they will be running two nights of their uh, three heat series. Tonight, the first night being run in Greymouth, or yep. this afternoon, they don't have lights, so by now they'll be either at the recreation with Parky or on their way home. Um, and then the we are Supers Nights am amongst all of that. Um, and of course, that'll be one of the last Super Saloon outings for the season. Different setup here in this race than the first one, Tony, of course, yeah. with unwinding the track. Paul Leslie in the 27 sitting on the outside. The 29 car running the second row. So front row consists of Neville Soper on the outside and Paul Leslie to the inside. It is the 29 of Mike Jones to the outside, the 73 of Shannon Ma. Then Ryan Musgrove with the 46 of Sean Andrew to the outside of him. Matt Peterson the 433 with the 97 of Steve Soper. Dave McSherry in the 62, the 61 of Tom McSherry, father and son racing for opposite teams. Then we go Baldwin with the outside of him being Brand Braden Skewer. We're in the starter's hands. This seems a lot more aggressive on the start with the gas as we are head down to turn one. Paul Leslie leads us in. They get into the side of Jones. Out of all of that, oh, big, big pile-up. <laughs> Massive pile-up. It and allowed Leslie to really get away out front. And Matt Peterson there as well. Sean Andrews spins one to the infield and he is on the back of... <laughs> he was going to put Musgrave in, he backed out of it. Here comes... Oh, we're bouncing in the back of the Falcon there. We were Musgrove is into the back all over the 99 and the 29 and 61 are going to shoot around the outside. That is going to make the, uh, the red light. Something on the track somewhere? No, oh, that's going to be... Dave McSherry's already on the infield in the 62. So we're sending the rescue team out. This will be an, oh, could be for debris on the track. Certainly that hit down that far end, you'd expect a couple of bumper corners and stuff to be bent or broken. Oh no, they're putting Musgrove on the infield. And he was thinking about not appreciating that for a second. Mm, mm. Not sure why. I'm be... pretty confident it has something to do with the pole line. Yeah, he, he, he was weaving and ducking on the pole line. Mind you, so was the car in front of him. It depends on whether that car was over the pole when he hit it. <laughs> mm, mm, true. Okay. So yep, I'll, I'll go with your interpretation there. But it is a flat-out foot-to-the-floor race at the moment. It is in Canterbury's hand. Nelson knows it, and uh, when you've got two parked on the infield, it's going to make it a whole lot harder. But don't rule out this Nelson team. They are on it at the moment. Just watching the 27 come down here, having a look at the many flicks the car from. The 99 of Baldwin will protect the Matt Peterson goes through as well. So race leader, it is Paul Leslie back to Matt Peterson. And we'll let the ELS unfold. Ma goes through, Sopa, the Sopa has Sean Andrew chasing him. And Sean Andrew come, is coming at speed. You're gonna hear the 46, it's on note, and he is lining up the 99 of Baldwin 
just being that annoying block car that he knows he can be. And oh, he just about gets over. Not sure what Andrew's going to take. And they're both pull it spinning. Oh, Double oh. spin by the Canterbury team there. What a beautiful sight. <laughs> beautiful sight there is Sean. Ant oh, the bar set through the infield. Red light is on. That was synchronised spinning. It was. And there must be a debris on the track. They sent the tractor out. It was. Didn't think that was going to happen. And then all of a sudden, Kawonfa, they got both of them. So according to the ELS, four laps completed, so it's a 12 lap race, there's still plenty of distance to go. Yeah, <laughs> eight laps. Well, how many cars are going to be left? But it is definitely working in favour of Canterbury at the moment, they're first, second and third on the track. And six, so Nelson have got the... Uh, the Super Clan running in formation, well, I won't say in formation, but on posi track position. And it's got a, it's got a, you, it's got a sting a little bit, Tony, when you're sitting on the infield and you know you can't help your teammates. Oh, it does, yeah. As we get all the infield crew back to their positions, we're going to be back in the starters' hands. We'll get to see who is going to. Carry on, we're away and racing. We are. Is the 61 of Tom McSherry. Sick. Oh. We've got the Nelson cars pulls to the infield, so we've got three on the. or well, four technically, but we've got to wait for uh, 29 to go through. Baldwin gets spun, carries on. So the soap is running in formation. 46 circulating down low. He <laughs> you feel that either the Baldwin or uh, Andrew want a little something to play with. Here we go. Sean Andrew gets the chew, gets taken, and oh, big as the 29 card <laughs> launched into the side of the Nelson Knights machine. So. Sean Andrews part on the track, he's back and going, big cluff of performance smoke. The 99 and 61 sitting down there. They're gonna... So here's the two lead cars coming up on the back of the gaggle of three Nelson ones. This will be interesting. <laughs> Sean Andrews takes the switch. Oh, we're gonna dive through all that. Sean Andrew, he is the, well he's, to be fair, the two Christchurch cars on the first and second just they're backing themselves to uh, to take these Nelson cars on. That's either utter confidence or... Well, as uh, long as the Nelson cars keep racing, the Christchurch cars can just stay in behind them, to be honest. They don't need to get involved in it, do they? Well, Baldwin's about to get about four and a half tonne of silver enema as they head down the back straight. He's going to get three Nelson cars arriving all pit via the infield into the side of the 99 he's just hopped into it he's all right so that is skewer into that and that's fine paul leslie's prepared to back himself on here as we go for the big shot or do we no we haven't got tom mcsherry got smoke pouring out of a nelson car down here and 46 of sean andrews sean Paul Lizzie's going to, oh, 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 race leader puts himself in. Sean Andrews gets him, white flag is out. It's out for Matt Peterson. Matt Peterson. Paul Lizzie's going to spin it around. So, Matt, Matt Peterson. He will run that down. The white flag is out. He is just going to bring it home for Canterbury. Baldwin there puts himself in the line of the spin. And Matt Peterson takes the check it for the Canterbury Congress. So well done Canterbury Cobras, well done Matt Peterson and Paul Leslie as well. The two of them led that race pretty much from beginning till just a couple of laps before the end. Leslie got tangled up in that uh, little incident on the front straight there but uh, 
Peterson was always in good position to be able to take over the lead if he needed to. He did need to, and he brought it home. Well done, Matt Peterson. Well done, Canterbury Cobras. To be fair, Matt Peterson's done exactly what the Petersons do. They sit in second for most of the race, yeah. <laughs> and occasionally uh, they take over the lead when they get the opportunity. Yeah, yeah, that's and so, that's, uh, he's so give them a round of applause as they home. go around uh, as a team, as a group. Canterbury Cobras, excellent uh, race, good result, plenty of entertainment there, plenty of hard hits, and uh, plenty of strategy and, and tactics too, which is great to see. And how if they could just convince the stock card and. Uh, that these guys move through to stock cars and st super stocks and just <laughs> do the that, same thing again. Take yeah. that tone through. Yep. Well, that would be fair. Both of those respective teams have actually done pretty well this year. So there we are. They're going to get their checkered flag and go around as a group. Commiserations to the Nelson Knights. Put up a great fight, I have to say. Good team, and they did well, but not well enough. So give them a round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. These are your winners of the State of Origin for 2020, the Canterbury Coppers. They worked hard for that. It's a fair bit of repair work to do this week in the shed, but um, good result. The worst thing is if you don't like red or black on your car, it's going to be even bigger job repainting them. <laughs> Indeedy. So thank you to Mr Whippy for bringing us that race. We've got one more race on the programme. That's the uh, wingless modified feature, and then the demolition derby will finish the night.